Research is the systematic investigation into and study of materials and sources in order to establish facts and reach new conclusions. Curiosity and experimentation are bedrocks of research. Something must drive you into a search and test for results. How well the results are determines whether research outcome could be adopted or discarded. The CSIR's Building and Rose Research Institute researches the adversities and conditions that promote materials for construction. It says waste glass and plasters could be used in reinforcement of concrete, cement or clay. Dr. Ahmad Tagbo of the Advanced Materials Science Division of the Building and Rose Research Institute in Kumasi, BRRI, affirms that the presence of glass in building materials impacts positively. We use broken glass, and this broken glass is from the laboratories around. So we use them and we incorporate them into uh, concrete. We also incorporate them into uh, uh, clay. So the material that comes out after incorporating them sometimes perform even better than the, uh, the conventional materials. And this is the mortar that we have made from the plastic waste. At 3%, the, perform, the performance is comparable to the conventional materials. Plastics give a particular building material some resilience over clay in an experiment. We compared the, clay, uh, the fired bricks, the concrete pavement bricks, and then the plastic pavement bricks. And we realized that in strength, in strength, the one made of clay performed better. But when it comes to durability, the one made of plastic and sand performed better. So in effect, we are turning plastic waste into a, a resource by coming out with pavement bricks. The director of the Building and Rose okay. Research Institute, Surveyor Daniel Asensujembibi, indicates that an observation of termites in destructive course in a CSIR field came to an abrupt end due to a sudden encroachment. The kind of destruction that termite can cause in buildings is huge, millions of dollars. And we have done this research for 27 years. It took just one day for people to destroy this research. However, the Ghanaian scientists weave this plant material in construction as an anti-termite measure. The plant material engages the destructive termite on buildings, leaving the actual building material off the hook. The BRRI has provided another option for waste plastic bottles used here for molding a dustbin. Will these uses for plastics and glass be adopted on a large scale as one more response to the waste menace? Napoleon Atukitu reporting. Yeah. So I said, yeah, I